we discover this wasp nest hidden in a fir tree in our garden in southern Malaysia. It looks like the nest of a mason wasp, which is also known as a potter wasp because the nest resembles something made on a potter's wheel. The nest is about 10 centimeters from top to bottom and is around 5 centimeters in diameter at its widest point. There is a single opening about 1 centimeter in diameter at the base of a short cylinder. The occupant also looks very much like a mason wasp. We had only ever seen one wasp at a time entering or leaving, which is consistent with mason wasps, which are known to be solitary insects. Inside the nest, the wasp will be constructing an elaborate framework of hexagonal cells in which she will lay her eggs and the pupae will develop. She repeatedly travels to and from the nest, collecting mud for construction purposes and food for the developing pupae. When the nest was about four weeks old, we were surprised to see not one, but three wasps hovering outside, which led to some doubt whether they really were solitary mason wasps. We were very fortunate to get some footage inside the nest without disturbing the occupants. We can clearly see the females tending the pupae. The care and attention they show seems little different from that shown by higher animals. And then we see something completely unexpected. We see one of the females position herself over a vacant cell and there goes an egg being delivered. And if we watch again frame by frame, we see the female position herself over the cell and then one, two, three and then she continues about her business. And then again, a few seconds later, we see something similar. She positions herself, and there it goes. The following day, the wasps had blocked off the bottom opening and had replaced it by a side opening, which looked very different from the earlier one. The day after that, there were some major renovations taking place. The original opening on the left had been enlarged, and now they were making a new one. The reason soon became clear. There were now five wasps in the group. These are consummate craftsmen. The nests are made of dried mud. The wasps swallow mud for transportation back to the nest and regurgitate the mud for construction purposes. We can see one worker positioning a sheet of mud inside while one works on the outside. But look at the skill and dexterity being used. Another worker takes over the final blocking off of the opening. She goes inside to complete the job while another worker enlarges the other opening. And then we see one of them emerge, carrying some freshly regurgitated mud to improve the shape. These images have been speeded up to save time, but perhaps this shows off the wasp's dexterity even more. But secure as the nest appears, there is no avoiding possible danger. Here we see a much larger wasp land on the nest. The pupae inside would make a very tasty meal. At first the intruder goes unnoticed, and then he is detected. Two of the wasps eventually leave the nest to give chase, while one stays behind blocking the entrance. The worst possible disaster would be for the intruder to enter the nest and feast on the pupae. The wasps put up a spirited defence and the immediate threat is over. 
but it was a slow response. The next time the intruder appears, the wasps are ready. The sentry leaves the nest to take him from behind. The others come out and circle the entrance, while one stays inside blocking it. But the big wasp doesn't give up easily. He soon comes back and makes threatening gestures at the sentry at the entrance. Once again the others come out and put up a concerted defence. All the time with one wasp remaining inside blocking the entrance. And once again the threat is over. For the time being at least, the wasps can get back to the job of preparing the next generation.